Hey, I'm Luke Hodges from homegrownwebsite.com and in this video I'm going to show you how to create your own fully featured website that costs less than $5 a month, all in less than 15 minutes. This video is perfect for you if you're just starting out and you want to keep your costs low, but you want to build a website that can scale and grow with you, so you're not starting again from scratch later on. We're going to use the same technology that most web developers use to create websites, but through some clever techniques and templates, we're going to avoid all the coding. So follow along with me now as I show you step by step on how to register your domain, how to set up your hosting, and how to create your website all in less than 15 minutes. Okay, so the first thing you want to do on the website is look for the Bluehost hosting link, the banner just here, and click on that, and that takes through the hosting so we can sign up. Click on the Get Started Now button. And you'll need to make a decision on what you want your domain to be at this point. So your own www.yourbusinessyourwebsite.com. Uh, think of something unique, uh, obviously being the internet, there's a lot of them already selected. For this particular example, we found one making a website from scratch.com that is available. And if successful, it'll tell you up the top here. If not, it will say it's unsuccessful, it will give you a whole lot of recommendations or it will give you a chance to try another name. You just keep going until you find one that works. Now if you fill in your contact details and select the particular plan that you want to look at. So obviously the best value is 36 months, so 3 years, you'll get it for $4.95 a month. Uh, for this particular one, we're just going to use 12 months, so we'll pay the $7.95 a month. As you'll see, it's free setup, free domain. And you get a whole lot of add-ons here, such as search engine jumpstart, site backup. Look, I really don't recommend using these. Please do if you wish. Um, domain privacy. This is something I usually do. And what it will do, if you just click on more, more information, for every website it's possible to look up who the website's registered to. If you use privacy, Bluehost will actually cloak your information, so it won't be available to be seen publicly. So I leave that one clicked on for only $10 a year. And then what you want to do is edit your credit card details and hit next. So at this point it's going to try and give you a whole lot of upgrades, just continue and complete. And congratulations, you've started. So at this point you need to create a password for your account. Create your password. And then you can log in. So now you've logged in. Going to try and help you along the way, just cross that off, it's fine. What I want to do is install WordPress. Just click on that. Just give you some information, you just click on install, a brand new instance. And you just want to keep it here, keep all this blank the way it is. Click on check domain. Okay, you've read the terms and conditions, click on show advanced options. At this point, you really want to update your username and password. Obviously make it something a little more secure than what I've just demonstrated with. And click on install now. And you can see a progress bar at the top of the screen here. And it's now complete. Great, so now what we want to do is log into our website. And all we do that is by typing in our domain name, making a website from scratch.com forward slash wp admin. And that's the address you want to type in. We use our username and password to log in. And 
And this is the dashboard that you'll be looking at. So first thing you want to do is just cross this off. And what we'll do is right click visit site and open up a new tab where you can see the website as you're editing it. Cool. So what I want to do is go down to settings first of all, click on discussion. And we don't want to allow people to comment on new articles at the moment. So as we're going through and editing the site, uh, later on you might want to activate that if you want to have a conversation with your viewers. But for the sake of this we're going to click on permalinks. As you'll see by default, it uh, doesn't make a lot of sense. It's P equals one, two, three. So what we want to do is use post name and that provides a little more of a meaningful URL structure for your website. Click on Save Changes. Great. So now we're going to add a few pages to our website. We'll do that by hovering over Pages, clicking on All Pages, and this is where you edit any of your pages moving forward. You'll see that a sample page comes with the installation. We're just going to trash that. Now we're just going to add a few pages to our site. So you'll have an About Us page generally, and we can add content to this later on, just publish for now. Click on Add New. If you're a business, you'd probably have a Services page. And Contact page. Great. So click on all pages now, and you'll see all the pages of your site. You can go and edit these as you wish. I haven't created a home page because that's going to be done with the theme we're about to install now. So if we go up to our page here, hit refresh, you can see we've got about us, contact us, services. Uh, but the site still doesn't really look like a website yet. So what we're going to do is go back to our back end here, go to appearance, themes. WordPress.org themes. And here you can search the entire marketplace for a whole lot of different themes. I've already chosen one that I want to use for this. It's called Responsive. You'll see it just here. And all we do is click Install. Activate. Now that's what our site looks like. Go back here, hit Refresh. And there we go. So at the moment it looks fairly generic, uh, so we're just going to make a few adjustments to make it our own. So we go back here, scroll down to settings, general, and give our site a title, and we'll start from scratch, and your website is easy, and you probably want to pop your email address in here, and save changes. Now the first thing you want to do is to go back here. Text is fine up here if that's what you've got, but realistically you want to add a graphical header. And I'll show you in another video how to get a great header made up or how to get a great logo made up quite cheap. For the time being I've made one for the site. Uh, it doesn't look fantastic, but we'll do for the sake of this demonstration. So we're just going on appearance and header. Choose the file, find the header that you've made, open that up, click upload, and you just want to crop that to your desired shape and size, crop and publish, and that's in our site now. Now if we look back here we notice that the background isn't white and I've created a white background for that logo. So I just want to come back in here, click on background, look at background colour, click white, Save our changes. Now we're starting to look like a real website. So what we need to do now is just edit the home page so that we're putting our best message forward to our visitors. And you'll see down here we've got this area here and these three widgets down here. We're just going to quickly edit those. So to do that we want to click on theme options. Go to home page. And it's all pretty self-explanatory in here. So you see a headline. It'll be 
learn how to make a website from scratch. Use subheadline. Making a website is easy. Your content area. Let me show you step by right, step how to create a website. Allows you to communicate with your audience the way you want. And you see down here you've got call to action, URL, call to action, text. If we go like here, you'll see it's just that button there. So generally you want to move people towards your services page. So just click on your services tab here. Highlight that, right click, copy. And that's your URL paste that in there, call to action text, show me how, and featured content media is the, go back to the home page, is this image just here, so because we're doing video demonstrations, we're just going to upload, play button, and insert that in there, so now we save that, Refresh our page. It's starting to look like a website. So now we're just going to edit these widgets down the bottom here. Click on widgets. And you'll see you've got home widget one, two, three. It's just home widget one, two, three. So because we don't have any graphics or anything prepared, we're just going to put some text in here. So you just click and drag that onto there. The title might be, it's easy. And save that. I'm gonna drag the text up to my widget two. It's cheap, get started for less than Five dollars a month. Save. Just click on that to minimize it. So we can get to home widget three. And drag up there. And no restrictions. Now we go back to our page and just hit refresh. See it's easy, it's cheap, no restrictions. Okay, so now moving forward from this, obviously you'd go through each of these pages and add some more content. You'd want to go into the contact part and add a contact form. And definitely the next step you want to look at is implementing email marketing. So you want to get a lead capture form on here so that you can get people's details and sign them up to your mailing list. That way you're not losing the website visitors that are coming to your site. So the next step is to go back to homegrownwebsite.com and join my mailing list and I'll send you more great videos on how to build on top of this great website you've already created. Thank you very much for your time.